The North American F-86 Sabre, sometimes called the Sabrejet, is a transonic jet fighter aircraft. Produced by North American Aviation, the Sabre is best known as the United States' first swept-wing fighter that could counter the swept-wing Soviet MiG-15 in high-speed dogfights in the skies of the Korean War 1950 fighting some of the earliest jet-to-jet -jet battles in history. Considered one of the best and most important fighter aircraft in that war, the F-86 is also rated highly in comparison with fighters of other eras. Although it was developed in the late 1940s and was outdated by the end of the 1950s, the Sabre proved versatile and adaptable and continued as a frontline fighter in numerous air forces until the last active operational examples were retired by the Bolivian Air Force in 1994. Its success led to an extended production run of more than 7,800 aircraft between 1949 and 1956, in the United States, Japan, and Italy. Variants were built in Canada and Australia. The Canadair Sabre added another 1,815 airframes, and the significantly redesigned CAC Sabre sometimes known as the Avon Sabre or CAC CA-27, had a production run of 112. The Sabre is by far the most produced Western jet fighter, with total production of all variants at 9,860 units. <laughs> development North American Aviation had produced the propeller-powered P-51 Mustang in World War II, which saw combat against some of the first operational jet fighters. By late 1944, North American proposed its first jet fighter to the U.S. Navy, which became the FJ-1 Fury. It was an unexceptional transitional jet fighter that had a straight wing derived from the P-51. Initial proposals to meet a United States Army Air Forces USAAF requirement for a medium-range, single-seat, high-altitude, jet-powered day escort fighter, fighter-bomber were drafted in mid-1944. In early 1945, North American Aviation submitted four designs. The USAAF selected one design over the others, and granted North American a contract to build three examples of the XP-86 experimental pursuit. Deleting specific requirements from the FJ-1 Fury, coupled with other modifications, allowed the XP-86 to be lighter and considerably faster than the Fury, with an estimated top speed of 582 mph versus the Fury's 547 mph Despite the gain in speed, early studies revealed the XP-86 would have the same performance as its rivals, the XP-80 and XP-84. Because these designs were more advanced in their development stages, the XP-86 was feared to be cancelled. Crucially, the XP-86 was not able to meet the required top speed of 600 miles per hour (970 kilometers per hour). North American had to quickly devise a radical change that could leapfrog its rivals. The North American F-86 Sabre was the first American aircraft to take advantage of flight research data seized from the German aerodynamicists at the end of World War II. These data showed that a thin, swept wing could greatly reduce drag and delay compressibility problems that had bedeviled fighters such as the Lockheed P-38 Lightning when approaching the speed of sound. By 1944, German engineers and designers had established the benefits of swept wings based on experimental designs dating back to 1940. Study of the data showed that a swept wing would solve their speed problem, while a slat on the wing's leading edge that extended at low speeds would enhance low speed stability. Because development of the XP-86 had reached an advanced stage, the idea of changing the sweep of the wing was met with resistance from some senior North American staff. Despite stiff opposition, after good results were obtained in wind tunnel tests, the swept wing concept was eventually adopted. Performance requirements were met by incorporating a 35 degrees swept back wing, using modified NACA four digit airfoils, NACA 0009.5 to 64 at the root and NACA 0008.5 to 64 at the tip, with an automatic slat design based on that of the Messerschmitt Me 262 and an electrically adjustable stabilizer, another feature of the Me 262A. Many Sabres had the 6 to 3 wing. A fixed leading edge with a 6-inch extended cord at the root and a 3-inch extended cord at the tip, retrofitted after combat experience was gained in Korea. This modification changed the wing airfoils to the NACA 009-64 mod at the root and the NACA 008.1-64 mod at the tip. The XP-86 prototype, which led to the F-86 Sabre, was rolled out on 8 August 1947. The first flight occurred on 1 October 1947 with George Welch at the controls, flying from Murock Dry Lake, now Edwards AFB, California. The United States Air Force's Strategic Air Command had F-86 Sabres in service from 1949 through 1950. The F-86s were assigned to the 22nd Bomb Wing, the 1st Fighter Wing, and the 1st Fighter Interceptor Wing. The F-86 was the primary U.S. air combat fighter during the Korean War, with significant numbers of the first three production models seeing combat. The F-86 Sabre was also produced under license by Canadair, Ltd., as the Canadair Sabre. 
The final variant of the Canadian Sabre, the Mark VI, is generally rated as having the highest capabilities of any Sabre version. Topic: <laughs> Breaking sound barrier and other records. The F86A set its first official world speed record of 671 miles per hour, 1080 kilometers per hour on September 15, 1948 at Muroc Dry Lake, flown by Major Richard L. Johnson, USAF. Five years later, on 18 May 1953, Jacqueline Cochran became the first woman to break the sound barrier, flying a one-off Canadian-built F-86 Sabre Mk3, alongside Chuck Yeager. Cole K. K. Compton won the 1951 Bendix Air Race in an F-86A with an average speed of 553.76 miles per hour Design. Topic Overview The F-86 was produced as both a fighter interceptor and fighter bomber. Several variants were introduced over its production life, with improvements and different armament implemented see below. The XP-86 was fitted with a General Electric J-35C3 jet engine that produced 4,000 lbf 18 kilonewtons of thrust. This engine was built by GM's Chevrolet division until production was turned over to Allison. The General Electric J47GE7 engine was used in the F86A1 producing a thrust of 5200 lbf 23 kilonewtons while the General Electric J73GE3 engine of the F86H produced 9250 lbf 41 kilonewtons of thrust the fighter bomber version F86H could carry up to 2000 pounds 907 kilograms of bombs including an external fuel type tank that could carry napalm Unguided 2.75 in 70 mm rockets were used on some fighters on training missions, but 5 inch 127 mm rockets were later carried on combat operations. The F 86 could also be fitted with a pair of external jettisonable jet fuel tanks, four on the F 86F beginning in 1953, that extended the range of the aircraft. Both the interceptor and fighter bomber versions carried 60.50 in 12.7 mm M3 Browning machine guns with electrically boosted feet in the nose. Later versions of the F-86H carried 420 mm 0.79 in cannon instead of machine guns. Firing at a rate of 1,200 rounds per minute, the 0.50 in guns were harmonized to converge at 1,000 feet 305 meters in front of the aircraft, using armor-piercing and armor-piercing incendiary API, rounds, with one armor-piercing incendiary tracer API -T, for every five AP or API rounds. The API rounds used during the Korean War contained magnesium, which were designed to ignite upon impact, but burned poorly above 35,000 feet 11,000 meters as oxygen levels were insufficient to sustain combustion at that height. Initial planes were fitted with a Mark 18 manual ranging computing gun sight. The last 24 F-86A5 NARS and F-86S were equipped with the A-1CM gunsight and APG-30 radar, which used radar to automatically compute a target's range, which later proved to be advantageous against MiG opponents over Korea. Topic. Flying characteristics The Sabre's swept wings and jet engine produced a flying experience that was very different from the propeller-driven fighters of the time. The transition from props to jets was not without accidents and incidents even for experienced fighter pilots. Early on in the jet age, some U.S. manufacturers instituted safety and transition programs where experienced test and production pilots toured operational fighter squadrons to provide instruction and demonstrations designed to lower the accident rate. Additionally, the ongoing technical development and long production history of the F-86 resulted in some significant differences in the handling and flying characteristics between the various F-86 models. Some of the important changes to the design included the switch from an elevator, stabilizer to an all-flying tail, the discontinuation of leading edge slats for a solid leading edge with increased internal fuel capacity, increased engine power, and an internal missile bay F-86D. Each of these design changes impacted the handling and flying characteristics of the F-86, not necessarily for the better. In the case of the solid leading edge and increased internal fuel capacity, the design change produced increased combat performance, but exacerbated a dangerous and often fatal handling characteristic upon takeoff if the nose were raised prematurely from the runway. This over-rotation danger is now a major area of instruction and concern for current F-86 pilots. The 1972 Sacramento Canada Sabre accident resulting in 22 fatalities and 28 other casualties was a result of over-rotation on takeoff.
Topic: Operational history. Topic: Korean War. The F-86 entered service with the USAF in 1949, joining the 1st Fighter Wing's 94th Fighter Squadron and became the primary air-to-air -air jet fighter used by the Americans in the Korean War. While earlier straight-wing jets such as the F-80 and F-84 initially achieved air victories, when the swept-wing Soviet MiG-15 was introduced in November 1950, it outperformed all UN-based aircraft. In response, three squadrons of F-86s were rushed to the Far East in December. Early variants of the F-86 could not outturn, but they could outdive the MiG-15, although the MiG-15 was superior to the early F-86 models in ceiling, acceleration, rate of climb, and zoom. With the introduction of the F-86F in 1953, the two aircraft were more closely matched, with many combat experienced pilots claiming a marginal superiority for the F-86F. The heavier firepower of the MiG and many other contemporary fighters was addressed by fielding eight cannon-armed F-86s in the waning months of the war. Despite being able to fire only two of the four 20mm cannon at a time, the experiment was considered a success. The MiGs flown from bases in Manchuria by Chinese, North Korean, and Soviet VVS pilots were pitted against two squadrons of the 4th Fighter Interceptor Wing forward based at K-14, Kimpo, Korea. Many of the American pilots were experienced World War II veterans, while the North Koreans and the Chinese lacked combat experience, thus accounting for much of the F-86's success. However, United Nations pilots suspected many of the MiG-15s were being flown by experienced Soviet pilots who also had combat experience in World War II. Former communist sources now acknowledge Soviet pilots initially flew the majority of MiG-15s that fought in Korea, and dispute that more MiG-15s than F-86s were shot down in air combat. Later in the war, North Korean and Chinese pilots increased their participation as combat flyers. The North Koreans and their allies periodically contested air superiority in Mig Ali, an area near the mouth of the Yalu River the boundary between Korea and China over which the most intense air-to-air -air combat took place. Although the F-86A could be safely flown through Mach 1, the F-86E's all-moving tailplane greatly improved maneuverability at high speeds. The MiG-15 could not safely exceed Mach 0.92, an important disadvantage in near-sonic air combat. Far greater emphasis has been given to the training, aggressiveness, and experience of the F-86 pilots. American Sabre pilots were trained at Nellis, where the casualty rate of their training was so high, they were told, If you ever see the flag at full staff, take a picture. Despite rules of engagement to the contrary, F-86 units frequently initiated combat over MiG bases in the Manchurian sanctuary. The hunting of MiGs in Manchuria would lead to many reels of gun camera footage being lost if the reel revealed the pilot had violated Chinese airspace. The needs of combat operation balanced against the need to maintain an adequate force structure in Western Europe led to the conversion of the 51st Fighter Interceptor Wing from the F-80 to the F-86 in December 1951. Two fighter bomber wings, the 8th and 18th, converted to the F-86F in the spring of 1953. Number 2 Squadron, South African Air Force also distinguished itself flying F-86s in Korea as part of the 18 FBW. By the end of hostilities, F-86 pilots were credited with shooting down 792 MiGs for a loss of only 78 Sabres, a further 32 losses were attributed to ground fire or, unknown, a victory ratio of 10 to 1. Internally, the USAF accepts that its pilots in fact downed 200 MiGs, and research by Dorr, Lake and Thompson claimed a kill ratio closer to 2 to 1. The Soviets claim to have downed over 600 Sabres, together with the Chinese claims, although these cannot be reconciled with the number Sabres recorded as lost by the U.S. A recent RAND report made reference to recent scholarship of F-86 V MiG-15 combat over Korea and concluded that the actual kill-loss ratio for the F-86 was 1.8, 1 overall, and likely closer to 1.3, 1 against MiGs flown by Soviet pilots. According to Soviet data, the Soviets lost 335 MiG-15s in Korea to all causes, including accidents, anti-aircraft fire, and ground attacks. Chinese claims of their losses amount to 224 MiG-15s in Korea. North Korean losses are not known, but according to North Korean defectors, their air force lost around 100 MiG-15s during the war. Thus, 659 MiG-15s are admitted as being lost, many of these to F-86 Sabres, while USAF claims of their losses amount to 78 F-86 Sabres. Of the 41 American pilots who earned the designation of ace during the Korean War, all but one flew the F-86 Sabre, the exception being a Navy Vought F-4U Corsair night fighter pilot. According to official U.S. data, USAF Statistical Digest FY1953, the USAF lost 250 F-86 fighters in Korea. Of these, 184 were lost in combat and 66 in incidents. 
South African Air Force lost six F-86s in the war. This gives 256 confirmed F-86 losses during the Korean War. Cold War In addition to its distinguished service in Korea, USAF F-86s also served in various stateside and overseas roles throughout the early part of the Cold War. As newer Century Series fighters came online, F-86s were transferred to Air National Guard units or the Air Forces of Allied Nations. The last ANG F-86s continued in U.S. service until 1970. Topic: 1958 Taiwan Strait Crisis. The Republic of China Air Force of Taiwan was an early recipient of surplus USAF Sabers. From December 1954 to June 1956, the ROC Air Force received 160 X USAF F86F1NA through F86F30NA fighters. By June 1958, the nationalist Chinese had built up an impressive fighter force, with 320 F-86Fs and 7 RF-86Fs having been delivered. Sabres and MiGs were shortly to battle each other in the skies of Asia once again in the Second Taiwan Strait Crisis. In August 1958, the Chinese Communists of the People's Republic of China attempted to force the nationalists off of the islands of Quemoy and Matsu by shelling and blockade. Nationalist F-86Fs flying combat air patrol over the islands found themselves confronted by Communist MiG-15s and MiG-17s, and numerous dogfights resulted. During these battles, the Nationalist Sabres introduced a new element into aerial warfare. Under a secret effort designated Operation Black Magic, the U.S. Navy had provided the ROC with the AIM-9 Sidewinder, its first infrared homing air-to-air -air missile, which was just entering service with the United States. A small team from VMF-323, a Marine FJ-4 Fury squadron with later assistance from China Lake and North American Aviation, initially modified 20 of the F-86 Sabres to carry a pair of Sidewinders on underwing launch rails and instructed the ROC pilots in their use flying profiles with USAF F-100 simulating the MiG-17. The MiGs enjoyed an altitude advantage over the Sabres, as they had in Korea, and Communist Chinese MiGs routinely cruised over the Nationalist Sabres, only engaging when they had a favorable position. The Sidewinder took away that advantage and proved to be devastatingly effective against the MiGs. <inaudible> Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 In 1954, Pakistan began receiving the first of a total of 120 F-86F Sabres. Many of these aircraft were F-86F-35s from USAF stocks, but some were from the later F-86F-40NA production block, made specifically for export. Many of the minus 35s were brought up to minus 40 standards before they were delivered to Pakistan, but a few remained minus 35s. The F-86 was operated by nine Pakistan Air Force PAF, squadrons at various times, NOS, 5, 11, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 26 squadrons. Though Sabre was no longer a world-class fighter, due to availability of supersonic jets. However, many sources state the F-86 gave the PAF a technological advantage. Air-to-air -air combat In the air-to-air -air combat of the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965, the PAF Sabres claimed to have shot down 15 Indian Air Force IAF aircraft, comprising nine hunters, four vampires, and two gnats. India, however, admitted a loss of 14 combat aircraft to the PAF's F-86s. The F-86s of the PAF had the advantage of being armed with AIM-9B, GAR-8 Sidewinder missiles, whereas none of its Indian adversaries had this capability. Despite this, the IAF claimed to have shot down four PAF Sabres in air-to-air -air combat. The top Pakistani ace of the conflict was SQNLDR Muhammad Mahmud Alam, who ended the conflict claiming nine confirmed and two probable kills or damaged aircraft. Topic. Ground attack The aircraft remained a potent weapon for use against ground targets. On the morning of 6 September, six F-86s of No. 19 SQN struck advancing columns of the Indian Army using 5-in 127mm rockets along with their 6.50-in mm M3 Browning machine guns. On the same day, eight F-86 fighters of the same squadron executed an attack against IAF Pathankot, No. 14 PAF squadron earned the nickname. Tail choppers. For their successful attack against the Indian bomber base in Kalakunda, PAF claims are destroying around 36 aircraft on the ground at various Indian airfields. 
However, India only acknowledges 22 aircraft lost on the ground to strikes partly attributed to the PAF's F-86s and its bomber Martin B-57 Canberra. Topic: <inaudible> Indo-Pakistani War of 1971. The Canadair Sabres Mark VI, acquired from ex-Luftwaffe stocks via Iran, were the mainstay of the PAF stay fighter operations during the Indo-Pakistani War of 1971, and had the challenge of dealing with the threat from IAF. At the beginning of the war, PAF had eight squadrons of F-86 Sabres. Along with the newer fighter types such as the Mirage III and the Shenyang F-6, the Sabres were tasked with the majority of operations during the war. In East Pakistan, only one PAF F-86 squadron, 14th squadron was deployed to face the numerical superiority of the IAF. PAF F-86s performed well, with Pakistani claims of downing 31 Indian aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. These included 17 Hawker Hunters, 8 Sukhoi Su-7 fitters, 1 MiG-21, and 3 Nats while losing 7 F-86s. The most interesting of these was a battle between two Sabres and four MiG-21s. One MiG was shot down, without any Sabres lost. This was achieved due to better low speed performance of the Sabre in comparison to the Delta Wing MiG 21. India, however, claims to have shot down 11 PAF Sabres for the loss of 11 combat aircraft to the PAF F 86s. The IAF numerical superiority overwhelmed the sole East Pakistan Sabres Squadron and other military aircraft which were either shot down, or grounded by Pakistani fratricide as they could not hold out, enabling complete air superiority for the IAF. After this war, Pakistan slowly phased out its F-86 Sabres and replaced them with Chinese F-6 Soviet MiG-19 based fighters. The last of the Sabres were withdrawn from service in PAF in 1980. They are now displayed in Pakistan Air Force Museum and in the cities in which their pilots lived. Guinea-Bissau War of Independence In 1958, the Falca Area Portuguesa FAP, received 50 F-86Fs from ex-USAF stocks. A few former Norwegian Air Force F-86Fs were also purchased as spares in 1968-69. The FAP deployed some of its F-86F Sabres to Portuguese Guinea in 1961, being based at AB-2 Bissalanka Air Base, Bissau. These aircraft formed Detachment 52. Initially equipped with eight F-86Fs, serials, 5,307, 5,314, 5,322, 5,326, 5,354, 5,356, 5,361, and 5,362 from the Esquadra 51, based at the BA-5 Monte Real Air Base. These aircraft were used in the Guinea-Bissau War of Independence, in ground attack and close support operations against the insurgent forces. In August 1962, 5,314 overshot the runway during emergency landing with bombs still attached on underwing hardpoints and burned out. F-86F 5,322 was shot down by enemy ground fire on 31 May 1963, the pilot ejected safely and was recovered. Several other aircraft suffered combat damage, but were repaired. In 1964, 16 F-86Fs based at Bissalanka returned to mainland Portugal due to U.S. pressure. They had flown 577 combat sorties, of which 430 were ground attack and close air support missions. Topic. Philippine Air Force The Philippine Air Force PHAF first received the Sabres in the form of F-86Fs in 1957, replacing the North American P-51 Mustang as their primary interceptor. F-86s first operated from Bassa Air Base, known infamously as the Nest of Vipers, where the 5th Fighter Wing of the PHAF was based. Later on, in 1960, the PHAF acquired the F-86D as their first all-weather interceptor. The most notable use of the F-86 Sabres was in the Blue Diamonds aerobatic display team, which operated eight Sabres until the arrival of the newer, supersonic Northrop F-5. The F-86s were subsequently phased out of service in the 1970s as the Northrop F-5 Freedom Fighter and Vought F-8 Crusaders became the primary fighters and interceptors of the PHAF. Antonio Bautista was a Blue Diamonds pilot and a decorated officer. He was killed on of January 1974 during a combat sortie against rebels in the south of the country. Topic. Soviet Sabre During the Korean War, the Soviets were searching for an intact USF-86 Sabre for evaluation, study purposes. 
Their search was frustrated, largely due to the U.S. military's policy of destroying their weapons and equipment once they had been disabled or abandoned. In the case of U.S. aircraft, USAF pilots destroyed most of their downed sabers by strafing or bombing them. However, on one occasion, an F-86 was downed in the tidal area of a beach and subsequently was submerged, preventing its destruction. The aircraft was ferried to Moscow and a new OKB Soviet Experimental Design Bureau, was established to study the F-86, which later became part of the Sukhoi OKB. At least one F-86 was sent to the Soviet Union, the Russians admitted, and other planes and prizes such as USG suits and radar gun sites also went. The Soviets studied and copied the optical gunsight and radar from the captured aircraft to produce the ASP-4N gunsight and SRC-3 radar. Installed in the MiG-17, the gunsight system was later used against American fighters in the Vietnam War. The F-86 studies also contributed to the development of aircraft aluminum alloys such as V-95. Topic: Feather Duster. The old but nimble MiG-17 had become such a serious threat against the Republic F-105 Thunderchief over North Vietnam that the USAF created Project Feather Duster to test which tactics supersonic American fighters could use against fighters such as the MiG-17. Ang F-86H units proved to be an ideal stand-in for the Soviet jets. One pilot remarked, "...in any envelope except nose down and full throttle. Either the F-100 or F-105 was inferior to the F-86H in a dogfight." Topic. Variants Topic North American F-86 XF-86 Three prototypes, originally designated XP-86, North American model NA-140 YF-86A This was the first prototype fitted with a General Electric J-47 turbojet engine F-86A 554 built, North American model NA-151 F-86A 1 block and first order of A-5 block and NA-161 second F-86A 5 block DF-86A A few F-86A conversions as drone directors RF-86A 11 F-86A conversions with three cameras for reconnaissance F-86B 188 ordered as upgraded a model with wider fuselage and larger tires but delivered as F-86A 5, North American model NA-152 F-86C original designation for the YF-93A, 2 built, 40 48 to 317 and 48 to 318. Order for 118 cancelled. North American model NA 157 YF 86D prototype all weather interceptor originally ordered as YF 95A, 2 built but designation changed to YF 86D. North American model NA 164 F 86D, L production transonic all weather search radar equipped interceptor originally designated F 95A, 2506 built. The F-86D had only 25% commonality with other Sabre variants, with a larger fuselage, larger afterburning engine, and a distinctive nose radome. Sole armament was MK-4 unguided rockets instead of machine guns. F-86Ls were upgraded F-86Ds. F-86E improved flight control system and an all-flying tail this system changed to a full power operated control with an artificial feel built into the aircraft's controls to give the pilot forces on the stick that were still conventional, but light enough for superior combat control. It improved high-speed maneuverability. 456 built North American model NA170 F86E1 and E5 blocks NA172, essentially the F86 F airframe with the F86E engine F86E10 and E15 blocks. 60 of these built by Canadair for USAF F86E6 F86E M designation for X RAF Sabers diverted to other NATO air forces QF86E designation for surplus RCAF Saber MK. V's modified to target drones F-86F upgraded engine and larger 6 to 3 wing without leading edge slats 2239 built North American model NA172 F-86F1 through F-15 blocks NA176 F-86F20 and minus 25 blocks NA191 F-86F30 and minus 35 blocks NA193 F-86F26 block NA202 F-86F35 block NA227 first two orders of F-86F40 blocks comp comprising 280 aircraft that reverted to leading edge wing slats of an improved design, NA-231 70 in 3rd F-40 block order, NA-238 110 in 4th F-40 block order, and NA-256 120 in final F-40 block order, 300 additional airframes in this series assembled by Mitsubishi in Japan for Japanese Air Self-Defense Force. Sabre Fs had much improved high-speed agility, coupled with a higher landing speed of over 145 mph per hour the F-35 block had provisions for a new task, the nuclear tactical attack with one of the new small nukes second-generation nuclear ordnance. 
The F-40 had a new slatted wing, with a slight decrease of speed, but also a much better agility at high and low speed with a landing speed reduced to 124 mph The USAF upgraded many of previous F versions to the F-40 standard. 1E and 2Fs were modified for improved performance via rocket boost. F-30 had a Rocketdyne AR-2-3 with 3 to 6,000 pounds thrust at 35,000 feet, giving a top speed of M1.22 at 60,000 feet. F-86F-2 designation for 10 aircraft modified to carry the M-39 cannon in place of the M3.50 caliber machine gun 6 -pack. 4 F-86E-10 serial numbers 51-2803, 2819, 2826 and 2836 and 6 F-86F-1s serial numbers 51-2855, 2861, 2867, 2868, 2884 and 2900 were production line aircraft modified in October 1952 with enlarged and strengthened gun bays, then flight tested at Edwards Air Force Base and the air proving ground at Eglin Air Force Base in November. Eight were shipped to Japan in December, and seven forward deployed to Kimpo Airfield as Project Gunville for a 16 week combat field trial in early 1953. Two were lost to engine compressor stalls after ingesting excessive propellant gases from the cannons. QF 86F About 50 former Japan Self Defense Forces JASDF F 86F airframes converted to drones for use as targets by the U.S. Navy. RF-86F Some F-86F-30s converted with three cameras for reconnaissance, also 18 Japan Self-Defense Forces JASDF aircraft similarly converted TF-86F Two F-86F converted to two-seat training configuration with lengthened fuselage and slatted wings under North American model NA-204 YF-86H Extensively redesigned fighter bomber model with deeper fuselage, uprated engine, longer wings and power boosted tailplane, two builders North American model and A187 F86H Production model, 473 built, with low altitude bombing system, labs, and provision for nuclear weapon, North American model NA 187, F 86 H1 and H5 blocks, and NA203, F86 H10 block. QF 86 H Target conversion of 29 airframes for use at United States Naval Weapons Center F-86J Single F-86A-5 NA-49-1069, flown with Orenda turbojet under North American model NA-167 Same designation reserved for a models flown with the Canadian engines but project not proceeded with F-86K F-86L North American FJ Fury See, North American FJ-2, minus 3 Fury for production figures of U.S. Navy versions. CAC Sabre Australia. Two types based on the US F-86F were built under license by the Commonwealth Aircraft Corporation CAC, in Australia, for the Royal Australian Air Forces the CA-26 prototype, and CA-27 production variant. The RAF operated the CA-27 from 1956 to 1971. Ex-RAF Avon Sabres were operated by the Royal Malaysian Air Force TUDM, between 1969 and 1972. From 1973 to 1975, 23 Avon Sabres were donated to the Indonesian Air Force TNIO. Five of these were ex-Malaysian aircraft. The CAC Sabres included a 60% fuselage redesign, to accommodate the Rolls-Royce Avon MK26 engine, which had roughly 50% more thrust than the J-47, as well as 30mm Aden cannon and AIM-9 Sidewinder missiles. As a consequence of its power plant, the Australian-built Sabres are commonly referred to as the Avon Sabre. CAC manufactured 112 of these aircraft, CA-27 Marques, MK-30-21 built, wing slats, Avon-20 engine. MK-31-21 built, 6-3 wing, Avon-20 engine. MK-32-69 built, 4 wing pylons, F-86F fuel capacity, Avon-26 engine. Topic. Canadair Sabre The F-86 was also manufactured by Canadair in Canada as the CL-13 Sabre to replace its de Havilland Vampires, with the following production models Sabre MK-1 1 built, prototype F-86A Sabre MK-2 
350 built, F86E type, 60 to USAF, 3 to RAF, 287 to RCAF. Sabre MK3. One built in Canada, test bed for the Orenda jet engine. Sabre MK4. 438 built, production MK3, 10 to RCAF, 428 to RAF as Sabre F4. Sabre MK5. 370 built, F86F type with Orenda engine, 295 to RCAF, 75 to Luftwaffe. Sabre MK6. 655 built, 390 to RCAF, 225 to Luftwaffe, 6 to Colombia and 34 to South Africa. Topic. Production summary NAA built a total of 6,297 F-86s and 1,115 FJs Canadair built 1,815 Australian CAC built 112 Fiat built 221, and Mitsubishi built 300 For a total Sabre, Fury production of 9,860 Topic. Production costs Note, the costs are in approximately US$1950 and have not been adjusted for inflation. Topic. Operators Source, F-86 Sabre Jet, History of the Sabre and FJ Fury Argentine Argentine Air Force acquired 28 F-86Fs, 26 September 1960, FAAS, NCA 101 through CA 128. The Sabres were already on reserve status at the time of the Falklands War but were reinstated to active service to bolster air defenses against possible Chilean involvement. Finally retired in 1986. Belgian Belgian Air Force 5 F-86F Sabres delivered, no operational unit. Canada Royal Canadian Air Force RCAF, Columbia Colombian Air Force acquired four F-86Fs from Spanish Air Force SN 2027-2028, five USAF F-86F SN 5113226, and other nine Canada MK.6, assigned to Esquadron de Casa Bombardero. Denmark Royal Danish Air Force 59 F-86Fs in service from 1958 to 1966. Ethiopia Ethiopian Air Force acquired 14 F-86Fs in 1960. Germany German Air Force Luftwaffe, see North American F-86 D Sabre and Canada Sabre Honduras Honduran Air Force acquired and 10 CL.13 Mk2 F-86E from Yugoslavia. Iran Imperial Iranian Air Force acquired an unknown number of F-86Fs. Iraq Iraqi Air Force bought some units of the type but they were never operated and were returned. Japan Japanese Air Self-Defense Force JASDF, acquired 180 US F-86Fs, 1955 to 1957. Mitsubishi built 300 F-86Fs under license 1956 to 1961, and were assigned to 10 fighter Hikotai or squadrons. JASDF called F-86F the Kyokuko, Zuguang Rising Sunbeam, and F-86D the Gecko, Ua Guang Moonlight. Their Blue Impulse Aerobatic Team, a total of 18 F models were converted to reconnaissance version in 1962. Some aircraft were returned to the Naval Air Weapons Station China Lake, California, as drones. Norway Royal Norwegian Air Force acquired 115 F-86Fs, 1957-1958, and assigned to seven squadrons, NOS, 331, 332, 334, 336, 337, 338 and 339. Pakistan Pakistani Air Force acquired 102 US built F 86F 35NA and F 86F 40 NAS, last of North American Aviation's production line, 1954 1960s. Peruperuvian Air Force acquired 26 US built F 86Fs in 1955, assigned to Esquadron Area 111, Grupo Area No. 11 at Talara Air Force Base. Finally retired in 1979. Filipinas Philippine Air Force acquired 50 F-86Fs in 1957. Retired in the late 1970s. Portugal Portuguese Air Force a total of 65 acquired, 50 U.S. built F-86Fs, 1958, including some from USAF's 531st Fighter Bomber Squadron, Chambly and 15X Royal Norwegian Air Force. In Portugal, they served in Squadron 201, formerly designated as SQN. 50 and later SQN. 51, before being renamed in 1978, and Squadron 52, both based at Air Base No. 5 Monte Real. 
In 1961, Portuguese Air Force deployed some of its F-86Fs to Portuguese Guinea, where they formed Detachment 52, based at Base Aerodrome No. 2, Bisalanka, Bissau. Taiwan Republic of China Republic of China Air Force acquired 320 US-built F-86Fs, 7 RF-86Fs, 18 F-86Ds, the 18 F-86Ds back to US military and US SEN-6 to Republic of Korea Air Force, 8 to Philippine Air Force in 1966. Saudi Arabia Royal Saudi Air Force acquired 16 US-built F-86Fs in 1958, and 3 Fs from Norway in 1966, and assigned to RSAF No. 7 Squadron at Darren. South Africa South African Air Force acquired on loan 22 US-built F-86F-30s during the Korean War and saw action with 2 Squadron SAF. South Korea Republic of Korea Air Force acquired US-built 112 F-86Fs and 10 RF-86Fs, beginning 20 June 1955, and assigned to ROKAF 10th Wing. It also served with the ROKAF Black Eagles aerobatic team for annual event from 1959 to 1966. The last F-86s retired in 1990. Spain Spanish Air Force acquired 270 US-built F-86Fs, 1955 to 1958, designated C-5s and assigned to five wings, ALA de Casa 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. Retired 1972. Thailand Royal Thai Air Force acquired 40 US-built F-86Fs, 1962, assigned to RTAF squadrons, NOS, 12, Ls, 13, and 43. Tunisia Tunisian Air Force acquired 15 used US built F 86F in 1969. Turkey Turkish Air Force acquired 12 US built F 86Fs. United Nations United Nations operation in the Congo received 5 F 86E MS from Italy as MAP redeployment 1963. Crewed by Philippine pilots, F 86F units from Ethiopia and Iran also used in ONUC. United States United States Air Force. Venezuela Venezuelan Air Force acquired 30 US built F 86Fs, October 1955 to December 1960, and assigned to one group, Grupo Aereo de Casa No. 12, three other squadrons. Yugoslavia Yugoslav Air Force acquired 121 Canadair CL 13s and F 86S, operating them in several fighter aviation regiments between 1956 and 1971. Civil aviation According to the FAA there are 50 privately owned and registered F-86s in the U.S., including Canada CL-13 Sabres. Topic notable pilots SQNLDR, later Air Commodore MMLM, Pakistan Air Force, became a flying ace by shooting down five Indian Air Force fighters within one minute in the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965. He was awarded the Satara e Jarat the Star of Courage and Bar. Colonel Edwin Buzz Aldrin, USAF test pilot and NASA astronaut of Apollo 11 fame. Credited with shooting down two MiGs over Korea. Major Rudolf Anderson Jr. USAF, 4028th Strategic Reconnaissance Squadron. Shot down and killed in 1962 while flying a U-2 spy plane over Cuba during the Cuban Missile Crisis. Colonel Royal N. Baker, 13 victories, Commander USAF-4 FIW. Wing Commander John Robert Baldwin DSO and Bar, DFC and Bar, AFC was a Royal Air Force fighter pilot and the top scoring fighter ace flying the Hawker Typhoon exclusively during the Second World War. He was posted missing, presumed killed, during service with the United States Air Force in the Korean War flying a Sabre. Lieutenant Colonel Antonio Bautista of the Philippine Air Force received the Distinguished Conduct Star for his valor and bravery in providing close air support to ground forces. Major General Frederick C. Bless, 10 victories, 1st Lieutenant, later Colonel, John Boyd, USAF, flying 22 missions in the F-86E and F models, with the 25th FIS, 51st FIW, June to July 1953. 1st Lieutenant John M. Conroy, completed, Operation Boomerang, on May 21, 1955, a record-setting coast-to-coast and back in one day during daylight hours of 5,058 miles in 11 hours, 26 minutes, 33 secs. Major George Davis, 14 victories, USAF-4 FIW, awarded the Medal of Honor posthumously Captain Manuel Pete Fernandez, 14.5 victories, USAF-4 FIW Colonel Francis S. Gabby Gabriski, 6 and 1 half victories, USAF-51 FIW Commander, top European US ace in World War II Colonel Vermont Garrison, 5 victories, USAF-4 FIW, ace in World War II and combat veteran of three wars Colonel Ralph Hoot Gibson, 5 victories, USAF-4 FIW Major John Glenn, a US Marine Corps exchange pilot with the USAF-51 FIW, three victories. First American astronaut to orbit the Earth, later a U.S. Senator from Ohio. 
Lieutenant Colonel Virgil Gus Grissom, astronaut in the Mercury, Gemini and Apollo programs, died in a fire during testing for the Apollo 1 mission. First Lieutenant Robert A. Bob Hoover, USAF 52 FIW, North American Aviation Experimental Engineering Test Pilot. Captain James Horowitz, one victory, USAF 4 FIW, novelist and author of The Hunters under the pen name James Salter, Colonel James Jabara, 15 victories, USAF 4 FIW, Colonel James H. Kasler, 6 victories, USAF 4 FIW, and only three time recipient of the Air Force Cross Flying Officer Walid Esanul Karim, Pakistan Air Force, youngest Sabre pilot, first flew Sabres when he was 18. Captain Ivan Kinchelow, five victories, USAF 51 FIW, test pilot selected to fly the North American 1015. Second Lieutenant Gene Kranz, NASA flight director for Gemini and Apollo and assistant flight director on Project Mercury flew with 69th FBS in South Korea. Squadron leader Andy McKenzie, DFC. RCAF Second World War fighter ace, 8.5 victories, taken power when his F-86 was shot down while flying with the USAF 51 FIW in Korea in 1952. Colonel Walker, Bud Maherin, USAF 4 FIG commander and World War II ace. Captain Joseph C. McConnell, 16 victories, USAF 51 FIW, who later died in a crash at Edwards Air Force Base testing the F-86H. General John C. Meyer, two victories, USAF 4 FIW commander and later vice chief of staff of the USAF. Brigadier General James Robinson Risner, eight victories, USAF awarded the Air Force Cross, later Vietnam War POW. Colonel Harrison R. Thing, five victories, USAF 4 FIW Commander. Major General Howard Thomas Markey, first Chief Judge of the United States Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit. Lieutenant Commander Theodore H. Fowler, August 13, 1979 U.S. Navy Lieutenant Commander Theodore Ted Fowler was killed when his QF-86 Sabre suffered an engine failure moments after takeoff. Fowler managed to bring the stricken aircraft down in a vacant lot 600 yards south of the Ridgecrest Heights Elementary School, later renamed Theodore Fowler Elementary School. Topic: Surviving aircraft. Topic: Specifications F86F40NA. Data from the North American Sabre General Characteristics Crew, 1 Length, 37 feet 1 in 11.4 meters Wingspan, 37 feet 0 in 11.3 meters Height, 14 feet 1 in 4.5 meters Wing area, 313.4 square feet 29.11 square meters Empty weight, 11,125 pounds 5,046 kilograms Loaded weight, 15,198 pounds, 6,894 kilograms. Max, takeoff weight, 18,152 pounds, 8,234 kilograms. Fuel provisions internal fuel load, 437 U.S. gallons, 1,650 L. Drop tanks, 2 by 200 U.S. gallons, 760 L. JP4 fuel. Powerplant, 1 times General Electric J47 GE27 turbojet, 5,910 lbf, 26.3 kN, performance. Maximum speed, 687 miles per hour, 1,106 km per hour, at sea level at 14,212 pounds, 6,447 kg, combat weight also reported 678 miles per hour, 1,091 km per hour, MAP 1.02, and 599 at 35,000 feet, 11,000 meters, at 15,352 pounds, 6,960 kg. 597 knots 1106 kilometers per hour at 6446 meters 1091 and 964 kilometers per hour at 6960 meters stall speed 124 miles per hour power off 108 knots 200 kilometers per hour range 1525 miles 2454 kilometers Combat radius, 414 miles, 360 nmi, 667 km, with two 1,000 pounds, 450 kg bombs and two, 200, us gallons, 760 L, drop tanks. Service ceiling, 49,600 feet at combat weight, 15,100 meters. Rate of climb, 9,000 feet per minute at sea level, 45.72 meters per second. Wing loading, 49.4 pounds per square foot, 236.7 kilograms per square meter. 
Lift to drag, 15.1 Thrust weight, 0.42 armament Guns, 6x0.50 in 12.7mm M3 Browning machine guns, 1,800 rounds in total Rockets, variety of rocket launchers, e.g., two Matra rocket pods with 18 SNEV 68mm rockets per pod Bombs, 5,300 pounds 2,400 of payload on four external hardpoints. Bombs were usually mounted on outer two pylons as the inner pairs were plumbed for two 200 us gallons 760 L drop tanks which gave the Sabre a more useful range. A wide variety of bombs could be carried, max standard loadout being two 1,000 pounds bombs plus two drop tanks, napalm canisters and could have included a tactical nuclear weapon. Topic. See also Semi-automatic ground environment Tactical Air Command related development CAC Sabre Canadair Sabre North American F-86 D Sabre North American F-100 Super Sabre North American FJ-1 Fury North American FJ-2, minus 3 Fury North American FJ-4 Fury North American YF-93 aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Dasumist Air FMAEI-33 Polkwi-2 Grumman F-9 Cougar Hawker Hunter Lavichkin LA-15 Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-15 Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-17 Republic F-84F Thunderstreak Saab 29 Tunnan Related lists List of fighter aircraft List of military aircraft of the United States List of airshow accidents and incidents